The first thing um, on our list, I'll, I'll go through first in terms of hair and makeup. Blotting paper, it's really good. It's to get the excess oil um, off your skin. So as the day goes on, you get sweaty, you get dewy, bit of blotting paper will get that um, off. You can always have tissues with you as well. A, you might cry. <laughs> Someone else near you might cry. It's always good. We always recommend brides fold up the tissue and just catch the tears if they can. If it runs down your face, again, pat, pat, don't wipe it off because it will take everything off and then in terms of uh, like a touch-up lipstick or something like that usually we discuss uh, with the bride like a touch-up color that they can take with them or they might have something with them um, at home or something like that that is a similar color to what we've applied they can take it with them usually for all our brides it is a long-lasting lip color that we put on them sorry lipstick or liquid lipstick that we put on them so it should last them the whole time if they know how to maintain it but you know everyone's different some people like the way they talk and things like that will eat away at the lipstick even if they eat oily food or something like that it's gonna make that wear away so a touch-up lipstick is always good so that's three so far for hair I would recommend having a bottle of hairspray just in case it could be a few flyaways um, to just tame them and if you're having a hair out if you're in the wind it does get like frizzy and things like that so even having a brush if your hair is out is is good because you just brush it through and just calm it calm it down and then our little secret <laughs> which I'm about to say is um, a like just some hand cream and hand cream is the happy medium between like hairspray and a hair oil it just adds that moisture back into your hair so it doesn't frizz so a lot of out hairstyles i especially encourage get a bit of hand cream on your hands and just rub it lightly through your hair it just gets rid of that frizz is there a specific brand no any, any hand cream yeah. and every girl has some hand cream in their bag so it's like readily available it's great so the non hair and makeup related things, um, Panadol, always good. You're running around that day and um, you might not have drunk as much water. Your hair might be hurting from being tied up all day that you're not used to. You know, it's always good to have a painkiller on hand. So Panadol, Band-Aids. Um, Band-Aids? Band-Aids, you just might, you just don't know, Jay. It could be your shoe um, that's cutting your foot. So you can put a band-aid on that it's a very long day as you would know and you're wearing the same outfit for the whole day you don't have the luxury of taking it off having a break and things like that so just prepare for everything a phone charger or like a charger for your like a, one of those battery packs that you can just charge a supplier might contact your phone or something like that it's always good if you're the bride or groom to leave your phone in responsible for someone else so you're not answering yeah. calls on the day you, you won't have yeah. time if you have a phone that needs to function properly on the day have like a charger or something like that with you last thing um, not many people put it in but a needle and thread because you just don't know what will snap and what will come apart so I've been a bridesmaid at a wedding where the page boys button came popped up and luckily I had a needle and thread it was yellow because that was the color of the bridesmaids outfits but we still managed to put it on and no one's gonna notice so you just don't know what will happen on the day so a needle and thread is always good especially when you're wearing outfits and things like that we've had brides their zippers snapped so we'll be we'll be doing the hair and makeup and they'll be getting ready into their outfit and then the zipper snap so luckily i make dresses <laughs> the rest of the time so we we'll, we've been able to stitch them up right. whether they've been in the studio or externally a bit of needle and thread and we can stitch them up into the outfit um, but yeah that's a very likely possibility that it could happen there's one more essential emergency kit item which we've just thought of now so it's going to be 11 so lucky you guys so um, Helen is going to tell you what the 11th essential item is to pack in your bridal emergency kit we were just talking about how a safety pin might is is a great idea um it does the job of a needle and thread but quicker um but yeah safety what pin do you use it for? Um, oh, even if something rips, maybe a blouse is coming undone at the back, you know, a dress at the back, something's like a hook has snapped or, you know, loads of possibilities. It's always good to prepare and if then if it happens, then you've got it on you. And all these items you can fit into like a little 
tiny little bag you don't have to have like a huge bag for it and then just have someone in charge of that bag um so that person is the emergency usually kit bag yeah, yeah usually a bridesmaid yeah. and have that um you know with you guys in the car and everything like that and maybe that's the same spot you put all your phones into or things like that um just so it's all in one spot because you don't want to be managing like five six different bags on the day you just want that one thing in out all these little things are going to save you time on the day which is what you essentially will be really needing is time on the day so we've got um blotting paper we've got tissues we've got hairspray or like a comb or a brush or something we've got a touch-up lipstick we've got panadol band-aids um hand cream a needle and thread, a charger for your phone or a battery pack, and the bonus safety pin. <laughs>